guys how are you i hope you're fine and staying at home so today is our class 28 yes it is very good and now our class is about the academic words and the word study yes we're gonna do two pages in one class but don't worry it's all very clear and very easy for you guys okay so now i need you to take your student book and your workbook so go take a material i'll be right back to go with you with our powerpoint presentation okay guys very good now that you have your student book with you and your workbook and your notebook we can begin this is our class 28 academic words plus word study let's go now we usually have this script right so the first thing is you're gonna read the academic words on your student book page 76 we're gonna do the practice and apply we're gonna read the word study on page 77 okay so then you're gonna watch a video and after the video we're gonna do the workbook page 42 and workbook page 43 okay yeah. let's begin so page 76 your academic words okay these words will help you talk about the reading the academic words are consist of consist of means made up of okay evidence is a word that means proof okay proof it's literally called proves quando você tem que provar alguma coisa okay so evidence is a proof and similar similar is a word we use to talk about something that it's almost the same but not exactly the same why when something is similar to other thing it means that it's not exactly the same but it's really close to it's really similar okay so understand that now we're gonna do the words in contest okay pay attention to the use of the words mud mud we called llama okay llama mud consists of soil and water consists of is made up of soil and water the scientists found evidence evidence is what is proof okay so the science found evidence that people lived near the volcano a long time ago the two mountains are similar similar is what almost the same but not exactly the two mountains are similar in height height altura okay are similar in height but one mountain is wider than the other one wider seria larga tá bom it's more it's wider than the other one understand this is how we use the words in context okay very nice now i have two things for you okay you're gonna do the practice and the apply and then we're coming back for the words in context to make a table so the practice okay uh take your pencil pencil we're gonna do this write the sentence in your notebook you don't need to you just need to write here okay choose an academic word to complete each sentence do the practice i'm gonna give you guys a few times okay but it's a very short time do these three here and i'll show you the answers okay go so now the practice okay here is the practice and the apply we're talking about this and the practice the answers is number one the wet the wet grass is evidence that it rained last night okay number two the books consist of 
different stories about volcanoes. Number three, lions and pet cats are similar, but lions are very big and pet cats are small, okay? This is how we use the three words, the three academic words that we are just learning about. And now the apply. The apply part, we don't need, you're not gonna answer uh, this in, in a talking way. I want you guys to write your answers, okay? I'm gonna read the question, I'm gonna explain it to you, but I need you guys to write. So you're gonna take your notebook, put, uh, you go to the academic words section, okay? Go to academic words part of your notebook. Put the date, class 28, page 76, apply. Okay, I'm going to repeat. Você vai colocar no seu notebook, uh, na parte de academic words. Você vai botar lá, é, class 28, page 76, apply, number one. E daí você vai escrever as suas respostas, tá bom? I'm going to read the questions. How are books and movies similar? Como é que você acha que os books and movies, they are similar? How are they different? Okay, that's question number one. Now, number two. What does a good lunch consist of? Good lunch é almoço, ok? Um bom almoço. So, what does a good lunch consist of? Answer. And number three, why is evidence important to science? Why is evidence important to science? These questions vocês vão responder in your notebook, ok? Answer it on your notebook. Because on our next live, we're going to talk about this. You don't need, you don't need to, to talk about now, but because I'm going to ask you guys in our next live, okay? I'm going to give you some time to answer the questions. Go! <laughs> guys very good now if you haven't had the time yet you haven't finished yet you can stop the video okay right now and finish it but I'm going I'm moving on but anytime you need you can just stop and go back so 
Now, this is the word study on page 77. The word study, you guys know that it's, it's much more about a grammar, it's much more about how to understand and how to pronunciate, how to talk those words, okay? So, reading, Pronunci pronunciation of ending ed. The ending ed, you guys remember, right? It's what we usually use for the regular verbs in the simple past, okay? So, the words in red below name actions that happened in the past, simple past, okay? They end in ed. Listen, then read the sentence aloud, okay? I'm gonna read the sentence and you're gonna repeat with me. Yes, I know it's hard, but you have to repeat so you can understand how to pronunciate, how to talk the words, okay? Present, the ice cubes melt. Okay, the ice cubes melt. The girls walk today. The girls walk today. Okay, past. The ice cubes melted yesterday. The ice cubes melted yesterday. Okay, the girls walked yesterday. The girls walked yesterday. Do you understand? Uh, every time that I see the word in the present, it ends with a, with a consonant, melt, walk. But in the past, you have to add the ed. So, melted, walked. Okay? Melted, walked. Very good. Here, ending the ed... Okay, adding the ed ending to melt, you're going to add a syllable, okay? You add a syllable. Why? Because melted, it's with the ed in the end, you're going to separate right here the syllable, melted, okay? But pay attention, adding the ed ending to walk does not add a syllable. I understand, oh, it's the same. No, it's not the same. You're going to... You, you don't add a syllable here, okay? Rule. This is a rule, regra, okay? Very important rule. If the letter T or the letter D comes before the ED ending, then ED is pronounced as a separated syllable, okay? For the ending, I'm going to show you guys a video right after this page. And you're going to have to try and pronunciate as we understand how to talk the end of the words, okay? So, a very important rule is if the letter and if the letter T or the letter D comes before the ED ending, then ED is pronounced as a separated vowel syllable, okay? Good. Now, the practice, okay? The practice. Work with a partner, sound out the words in the box. You're not gonna, you don't need to sound out the words, you're just gonna do as here it is, okay? I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, copy the words, don't need to. Circle the words if the ED adds another syllable. Você, essa parte you have to do, okay? These, we're gonna do it. Circle the words if the ED adds another syllable. You're gonna see these words here, and you're gonna circle the words that the ending ED adds another syllable. Go, do it. Read the words and try to understand through the pronunciation, okay? Which words can uh, add a syllable? Go. Okay. Now we're gonna cross out the word. Cross out is just made an X, okay? 
cross out the word if the ed does not add another syllable, just like the rule here that we just talked about it, okay? So, cross out the word if the, add, if the ed does not add another syllable. Go! Okay, guys, now I'm going to show you, okay, this is the practice that we are doing, okay, this is the main idea that we're talking to. I'm going to show you guys the answers, okay? So, you have to circle the word melted, started, decided, and, walked, and waited. Why? Because the add ed to the end adds another syllable, okay? This, the words that are in circle, okay? Uh, they have another syllable because of the ed. And the words in a cross, fill it, call it, stay it, and help it, they, they don't add another syllable, so that they are crossed out, okay? Copy these. Okay, very good. Now, we did the student book. Good. I'm going to show you guys a video. You can close your student book. Okay, don't worry. And pay attention to the video because this video shows you how to pronunciate and how to understand the ending in the, in the words. Okay, let's watch the video. Hello, welcome to pronunciation practice. My name is Sammy and I am an American English language student. Today, we are going to practice pronouncing past tense sounds using regular verbs ending in ED. For regular verbs, we usually add ED to the end of the verb to make it past tense. The spelling is easy because you just add ed, but the pronunciation can be a little tricky. Last weekend, I walked to the restaurant. When I got there, I glanced through the menu. The waiter arrived and I ordered a steak. After dinner, the waiter handed me the bill. I left happy because my meal tasted great. These verbs all have the past tense ed, but they are pronounced in three different ways. In walked and glanced, the ed makes a t sound. Walked, glanced. The ed in arrived and ordered ended with a D sound. Arrived, ordered. The ED in handed and tasted ended with an id sound. Handed, tasted. So how do you know which ED pronunciation to use? There are three rules to remember. First, if the verb ends in a t or d sound, use the id ending. For example, the past tense of verbs want and need becomes wanted or needed. If the verb ends in one of the following voiceless sounds, such as p, or f. Use the t sound for past tense. For example, we have helped and washed. If the verb ends in any vowel or in a voiced sound like 
ओ म न ज र ग ब व व ज Use the d ending. For example, called, played. Remember how we saw that spelling and sounds don't match up? We'll look at the following words: missed, sliced, and fixed. The last sound in each verb is spelled differently, but they all make the s sound. That's why they get the t past tense ending. Remember to focus on the last sound of a word. Both promised and closed have an s before the ed ending. However, promised has an s sound and closed has a z sound. That's why promised has a t. Ending and closed has the d ending. Okay, guys, very good. So, did you understand? It's quite a simple, right? You just have to pay attention to how to say the words, how to understand the the ending ed in each word. Okay, each word has a different sound, has a different pronunciation. So, you just need to. Pay attention how to speak that word, how to say that word. Okay. Now we're gonna use your workbook. Okay. Open your workbooks on page forty-two. Page forty-two of your workbook. Okay. I'm gonna read you guys the questions, and I'm gonna give you guys some times to do it. This remember that this is about the academic words, okay? So letter A, choose the word that best completes each sentence. Write the word, okay? Cooks mostly da 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 flour, sugar, and eggs. Number two, what da 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 da. Do you have to support your claim? Three. Everyone thinks we are brothers because we look da 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 da. B. Choose the word that best matches the meaning of the underlined words. Write the word. Four. All signs of life were buried under the lava. Five. The exhibit includes gold and silver jewelry, jewelry from found at the site. Six. Two mountains could look almost identical from far away. C. Answer the questions. Name a famous person you think you look similar to, and why. And eight. What activities does your school day consist of? Number seven and number eight. They are personal. Okay. I'm not gonna give you a, a right answer for this. Because you should write your own answer. So now go do it. Okay, guys, very good. If you haven't finished yet, don't worry. You're gonna have some time. You just need to stop the video and do it. Okay? I'm gonna go give you guys the answers. So number one, consists of two evidence, three similar, four evidence, five consists of six similar. Seven and eight, they are personal, okay? So that's why I haven't put an answer right here because each one of you is gonna answer something different, okay? 
page 43. This is about the word study, okay? The pronunciation. So, writers add ed to a regular verb to show something happened in the past, okay? Check the boxes that tell about each word when ed is added. The first one is done for you. The idea here is for you to say the words, each word, okay? And put an X on what it is sounds like. And if that ed in the end adds a syllable, okay? So each word is different, okay? It's not gonna be just one question. I'm gonna say to, I'm gonna read for you the, the words and then I'm gonna give you guys time to fill in the blanks, okay? So, uh, number one is already done. Melted. Melted, it's ed, sounds like d, and ed adds a syllable, okay? So, two, jump it, jump it. Three, call it, call it. Four, wanted, wanted. Five, look it, look it. Six, bark it, bark it. Seven, tasted, tasted. Eight, pull it, pull it. Nine, needed, needed. Ten, miss it, miss it. Okay, go, do it. guys very good now I'm gonna give you guys the answers okay so jump it uh, ed sounds like t call it ed sounds like d for wanted ed sounds like d and add a syllable look it ed sounds like t six barked ED sounds like T, tasted, ED sounds like D, and adds a syllable, pulled, ED sounds like D, needed, ED sounds like D, and adds a syllable, and missed, ED sounds like T, okay, you guys, you guys can copy, Very good, guys. Now it's only this the final script, okay? So we all did this today. We read the academic words, we read the word study, watch the video, workbook, page 42 and page 43. So I'll be right back to talk to you again. So, guys, did you like it? Did you understand? It all makes sense, right? We are going step by step to understand how to do things how to understand a few words or that we need to understand the academic words and also how to pronunciate, okay, how to say the words with the endings ed, okay? I know it's hard sometimes because all, we always have to think about if 
if if we are in talking in the simple past of the regular verbs we always have to remember that the simple past of the regular verbs usually ends with ed okay and then after that goes the idea of understanding how to pronunciate okay you don't have homework today okay yes you don't need to take pictures and send me through clips color no 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 today you only have to do the activities uh, as you look through the video okay you don't need to take pictures be good be safe stay at home i'll see you soon bye bye